Hey guys, Fazio Fishing here. This is Joel Stupid Bay. Hey everyone. And we're at Port St. Louis right now. We are, this is amazing out. It's a little windy, so we're doing it in the boat yard today. And we're just doing stupid baits, and we're gonna show you how to tie. A couple of rigs we've got. Um, our real common one that we've been oh using God. this year that's yielded a lot of big lingcod is the stupid loop setup. It's really basic, really easy. It's great for experts, and it's great for people who have never even had a fishing pole in their hands before. Uh, and then we'll show you another little setup of how we use a jig and uh, by itself and then how we can actually add a teaser up above that jig to kind of increase your chances of grabbing some fish out there. All right, that's sweet. So let's let's cut to make. All right, guys, to start off, we're going to show how to tie the stupid loop rig. All you're going to need is one pound weight, some mono, and a pack of either half ounce or three quarter ounce stupid baits. Today we're going to be using the three quarter ounce something something else stupid baits. So you're going to need a line with the swivel, with a swivel on the tube, but mostly just mono. Now we're First thing we're going to start with, guys, you're going to tie your main swivel onto the braid. We've always got this extra barrel swivel sliding around up top. If you don't know what that's for, head on over to the video linked below and that'll show you the sliding stupid rig that we use. It requires two swivels like that. We always have our setup like this just in case that's an option we want to switch over to. Having that extra swivel up there won't do you any harm. And again, if you decide suddenly you want to switch from what you're doing over to the sliding stupid rig, you're set up and ready to go and you don't have to cut that swivel off. Next, we're going to grab our two three quarter ounce stupid baits here. Grab a nice length of mono. Grab a nice length of mono right here, and you're going to thread both of your stupid baits onto it. Once you've got both your stupid baits threaded onto your line, you want to start with your top one. Leave enough tag line to attach to your swivel and you're gonna tie just a simple dropper loop knot. If you don't know how to tie this knot, look it up. It's very simple. You just go like that and you're just gonna make five twists here. And you're gonna open up a loop there. And after your five twists, that's the loop that your stupid bait is gonna go through. We got that stupid loop through the, there. Now the best thing you can do is head over to a, an edge of a table or something like this and put your hook in there. That way you've got something holding on to that stupid bait and you're just gonna pull both sides nice and tight and that's your dropper loop knot right there. All right, then you're gonna do that with both of them. Then. Perfect, so now that we've got both of our dropper loops tied up right here, you've got one up there on the top, one on the bottom and a one pound weight all the way down there. And all you're gonna do at that point is just tie your tag end onto your bottom swivel, your swivel that's attached to your main braid. And then that's your stupid loop setup. Very simple, very effective. We've actually had a number of jackpot lingcod caught on this exact setup here out in Morro Bay this year. Uh, it's, it's very effective. Um, yeah, can't say enough about that. All right guys, so now we're gonna show you our next setup. It's just a stupid bait jig with a teaser on top. And we're gonna show you how to, how to transfer from this dropper loop, stupid loop setup into the single jig with a teaser setup. So we're just gonna cut our mono right above the bottom stupid bait. That's gonna leave us with our top dropper loop still. That's gonna be our teaser. And then we're gonna use our tag end down here. We're gonna grab a three ounce something something stupid bait. One of our new patterns, it's a glow in the dark with a peach core and a glow in the dark tail. Really highly effective, a nice silver smoke coral over the top. So we're gonna grab this three ounce, it's a single. We're gonna tie it onto the bottom of this mono. Whatever knot's best for you. Got that guy attached. Cutter's tag in there. And that's our Stupid Baits jig with a Stupid Baits teaser up top. Again, highly effective. You can do it with or without the dropper loop, but we really like this setup because this will let you get down there and this smaller guy up here tends to grab the lean cod a little more often than the bigger guys. All right, guys, next we're going to show you a little trick we learned from one of our reps named Hermit Hernan Cortez. Uh, it's a little trick on if you've got your pre-truck tied dropper loops and you're trying to attach a stupid bait, sometimes the eyes on these hooks aren't quite large enough to get a doubled over loop through there. It's a little trick we're going to show you to get that through. You're going to take a stray piece of monofilament and run it through the eye of the stupid bait. And then you're going to run that same end through the loop of your dropper loop. After you've got it in there, you're going to run that tag end back through your eye 
and when you pull this whole thing tight on this end, it's just gonna slide that knot through there. Sometimes with bigger line like this, it takes a little bit more doing, but get a nice pull and I should pull the loop right through there. There it is. It takes a little doing with this 60 pound mono, but now you've got your loop there and you're gonna run it over the stupid bait, pull taut, and you've got yourself a nice dropper. Hey guys, Fuzzy Fishing. So thank you so much, Joel, for teaching us how to tie that rig. Absolutely. Thanks for having us on the channel and letting us come out here and show guys a couple of these ways that they can more utilize the stupid baits and make them work more effectively for them. Absolutely. And I hope you guys learned how to tie the rig. Stupid baits are located, first off, their Instagram and Facebook and website at stupid baits. So S T O O P I D baits. Dot com and then the rest on Instagram. They're located at Port St. Louis Sport Launch, the Outdoorsman in AG, and they're also located newly at Been There Caught That That's in right. Santa Maria. That's right. So go check them out now. Get your stupid baits. And have a partner. Sometimes I feel like my right up here there will be some the video to learn how to tie the sliding stupid rig. Awesome. Tandem stupid rig. There you go. Alright, thank you guys. Thanks again.